Right then, hello and welcome to another episode of British Carping. Today I brought you to one of my favourite commercials, Eswood Fishery, uh, which is a very, very well known commercial for its, uh, its silver fishing. Uh, also obviously stocked full of uh, carp, uh, you know, close to £30. It's, it's stocked full of uh, carassios or F1s, whatever you like to call them, tench barbel, you know, your usual commercial fish. But as I said, uh, my main target today is going to be the silvers. It's, it's, it's absolutely stocked full of silvers and it, it's a very, very prolific silver commercial to be fair. So the way I'm going to be targeting uh, the silver today is I'm going to be fishing the pole with natural baits, so maggots, casters, bought some worms for the hook. Um, I'm pretty much going to be feeding, you know, casters, maggots and maybe put a few worm in there and fish maggots, casters, uh, worm on top. I've also brought some pinkies as well if the fishing's hard. Uh, but yeah, I'm basically just going to be uh, tightening the silvers today and try and catch as many silvers as possible for the camera. I'm going to load the barrel up now and uh, join me in 10 to 15 minutes where I'll be on the box and I'll uh, talk you through my rigs and my uh, general approach for today. Right then, so you join me on my box now. Just plumbed up, got all my bait ready, made sure the uh, floats are cocked properly, and now I'm pretty much ready to uh, start feeding and start fishing. So I'm going to be as quick as possible because it's 20 to 12 now, and uh, Frank closes the fishery at 3 o'clock uh, in the winter months, which is understandable. So I've got three lines, a long line, a mid-range line. When I say mid-range, I'm fishing it just off the slope where you know, natural bait does accumulate and the fish do kind of uh, tend to hold up just below the slope. Third line is going to be uh, a close line up against the rushes, uh, where again, it's, it's a natural feature. It's where the fish feels safe and it's just a classic feature. Uh, quickly go through the rigs. Start with me, uh, my long line. It's a six to seven elastic. So quite light, but still got a bit of strength. So if it was to hook into a, you know, a better skimmer or foul looker skimmer or hooked into a carp or something like that. I've got a decent chance of getting it in, but it's still soft enough for, you know, the small roach, small skimmers. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be bumping the smaller fish off. Preston um, small Dacron connector. We have got a ripple on the water today, uh, so I want a nice stable float uh, and a float that can handle the depth. 
so it's a 0.8 Allen Scoffhorn float, uh, Drennan, and it's uh, another important aspect to the float. It's a, uh, a wire stem float. A wire stems floats, compared to carbon floats, I feel they're a little bit more stable when there's a ripple, and when, you, when you're fishing in quite deep water, you know, it's a little bit more stable in the water. That's going down to a bulk of number eight shots. Just, this is literally just to cock the float. That's going down to another small little bulk of number eight shots. And as I said, I'm fishing in quite deep water. So this allows, you know, the rig to get to the bottom quickly. But then when, I, when you get down to the hook length aspect of the rig, uh, I've put, uh, presented it with a, a loosely strung bulk of uh, number 10 stots. So the bulk allows the rig to get to the bottom quickly, but then the loosely strung bulk of number, uh, number 10 stots uh, still allows the hook bait to fall through the water naturally. Uh, the main line, sorry, is 0.13 suplex. Uh, and then that's going down to a six inch hook length, which is tied hook to nylon to uh, a size 18 F1 pellet. Uh, and, that's, and the hook length uh, is three pound or 0.11 um, diameter. So yeah, a very simple rig really, but a rig that's going to, you know, uh, stand up to the depth and the ripple that I've got on today. Quickly going over to my slope rig is exactly the same rig, just a different depth. The only other rig I've got is my, um, my rush line rig. So the elastic is a, I believe it's a four to six uh, blue uh, Maver elastic. Small Preston Dacron connector. It's only about two foot deep maximum next to the rushes. Um, so I've stepped down in float. I've got a, a 4x10 Chianti float. Uh, again, 0.13 main line to a 0.11 hook length material. Step down in hook size because I'm literally just going to be fishing Pinky and Maggot up to the uh, up to the rushes. So that's a size 20 F1 pellet. And then I've just literally got just above the hook length a loosely strung bulk of number 11 stots, uh, just allowed the you know the last couple of inches of the hook length to fall through the water really naturally. Uh, so yeah, those are my rigs. Very very simple rigs. Uh, I've got a very, very simple bait tray today. You point and a half of red maggots, point and a caster, uh, a small tub of dentures just for the hook, and then I've got some, um, again, a small tub of pinky and maggot uh, just for the hook, and then I've got a small tub of yum yums expanded pellets just to target the bigger skimmers throughout the day. So, yeah, very simple rigs, very simple bait tray. I'm going to get fishing now and, uh, yeah, try and catch as many silvers as possible. Let's get started. Absolutely great start.
first roach of the day. Only about, you know, three, four ounces, but it's the first roach. Another roach. Hopefully we can get one of these together. That'll be the last fish for today. Uh, I've caught 11 today, so considering the conditions and considering there's been no one else here, so there's not been any competition on the pool, uh, I think I've done relatively well, to be fair. The, the weather conditions over the last couple of days have been horrendous. It's, uh, we've had a, a gale force easterly wind, which hasn't been any good. Uh, we've had heavy rain for about the last two to three days, uh, which is just throwing the fishing about basically and also the temperatures at night it's they've just been plummeting to you know minus figures they haven't been getting much above you know much above one two degrees uh, but it's, it's it's fished okay and if the light conditions were better and i could see my float a little bit better i reckon i could have had a, a few more fish and hit a few more bites but i'm happy with 11 fish considering the weather conditions and considering there's been no other competition on the lake it's it's been okay so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm going to end off, uh, finish the video now. And uh, yes, yeah, stay tuned for another video. Thank you.